In this thread, tropes you absolutely hate. Asshole genie trying to rules lawyer wishes so they end up being bad for you. Chosen one. Thieves Guild. PCs meeting the king and talking like he's some random quest giver. Magic versus technology. Random wacky character trying to be comic relief. Hey, that, Don't. that, that offends me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking DM player character. Paladins are limp-wristed faggots constantly plagued by inane moral conundrums. If someone is evil, he must be the most over-the-top, moustache-twirling asshole, constantly backstabbing everyone for literally no benefit. Every single NPC is a surly, unhelpful cunt, treating the party like literal <laughs> gutter trash. Well, is that every NPC I've ever met? <laughs> yeah. Magically appearing city guards who perfectly know everything. Asshole genie again, because I hate it so much. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I, I'm not a fan of the genie at all. Amnesia backstory. Now you're just being lazy now. <laughs> yeah, that is lazy. <laughs> Elf versus dwarf bickering in the party. Obviously telegraphed betrayal plot that ends up in acrimonious drama when you make the first move and their big reveal falls apart. Consults the alignment chart like the whole uh, Bible. Honestly, I I I, 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 I I don't like alignment charts, and, and I don't blame anyone for not liking them. I know. Anytime I've I've had this a few times, I've handed in my character Some sheet. Some people take it so seriously, though. I've, I've written down, like you know, I've done my character sheet, I've handed it on in, and they're like, "Oh, what alignment are you?" It's like, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll make that. Uh, I'll, like, I'll, I'll uh, want to start playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested in that sort of thing. Taking alignment seriously at all, in fact. <laughs> Players choosing some other snowflake combination like Kobold Scion slash Samurai Multiclass then proceeding to do nothing with it. The DM is supposed to be against the players. Yay! Mm. Okay, okay. So, honestly, I do agree with most of them. The biggest one that I really don't like, I hate the Chosen One, and I really oh, hate I Thieves' Guild. You know what? You know the problem with Thieves' Guilds are? It's like, why would a Thieves' Guild ever be a thing? You know what? It, I know. You, know, you know the only time Thieves' Guilds are a thing? Anime. <laughs> Anime. Anime. It's the only time Thieves' Guilds are yeah. an actual thing in Skyrim. them. true. There's though. literally no reason for a thieves go no. why would you want more people knowing that you're thieving I know and it's not like thieves can network together very yeah. well anyway like you know because they're all thieves I know like... exactly it's like oh honour among thieves guys like fuck <laughs> off let's be serious <laughs> that's just no that's just not what would your ones be out of the top out of them list I, I think the chosen one on thieves guild really do me in yeah. alignment as well I alignment. think it's fucking gosh alignment let's just be, be serious guys it's fucking and gosh yeah Anyone? the chosen one yeah Ugh. DM's not having fun DM knows the party are not having fun either. DM knows that sessions are tedious, long and boring. Despite all of the above, DM continues with the campaign and attempts to fix it. It's okay to kill a game man. Sometimes, sometimes it sucks, you know. Let go of your pride and stop doing it. You're not having fun. You're growing more bitter and angrier and you're not learning anything. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'll see. I think that that's solid advice for yeah, anyone. Yeah, and player knows when the DMs yeah not having fun, and the DM knows when the players aren't having fun. It's, like, it's so just, just like, everybody put yeah, their hands up and be like, "Do you want to start something else?" Yeah, I, I remember there was a good uh, there was a good saying I heard a while back, and I can't remember who said it, or maybe I read it somewhere. But um, no D and D is better than bad D and D. True. Yeah. True. Which I, I think I think most people can agree with. You yeah. know, most of these don't seem like tropes, but fine. Players act like they're clever for picking up an obvious foreshadowing and either cheat themselves out of content by taking shortcuts using meta knowledge or get into a hissy fit when they try it and it turns out the foreshadowing was a fake out. Well, look, you know, you can't help. I, 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 I can't help it. I you know. know, when it comes to like, oh, if you got a wee bit of information, it's like, oh, do you wanna, do you wanna investigate this further? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you just get a like feeling about it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, oh no, this is sketchy. Yeah. Oh no, let's 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 invest. So there's this. no need to throw a hissy fit like. Oh yeah, of course. Players slash GM are only after a shallow par fantasy and doesn't think for one second how their retardation affects the rest of the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I yeah. hate it. <laughs> I don't, I've never really came in contact with that. Ne I don't think. Ne thank I've yes, never really. I've like I've we've got enough stories about it mm -hmm. and uh, whatnot, but thankfully I think that's one of the few that I've never actually. I've read enough up. stories that if I go into a game and one small red flag comes up, I'm like, no, no. I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> like, that... I know what's going to happen, and I'm not writing a thread about it. <laughs> <laughs> Rangers being edgy loners who have to be convinced to play the fucking game and work with a party. 
Why the fuck is this a thing? Oh, you know, no, 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 you know what it is? It's because they've never worked a fucking day in their lives, right? (laughs) I'm telling you right now, see if I was an adventurer, right? And I signed myself up for a very deadly, like, you know, like, good chance of dying. Yeah. You know, anytime you leave town in this, wherever game you're playing as, and I'm just going to show up my, I don't really feel like doing anything. It's like, bitch, do your fucking job. (laughs) You know, they only lose my ears for the fucking cash. (laughs) You want to make them fat stacks? Get the fucking job done. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's like, oh my God. (laughs) And, and, and tell me that's not true because like no, you know like you like same job same work you have to do a lot of shit that you, you don't fucking want to do. hate you know what I mean you have, and you have to work with people you oh, fucking don't like yeah trust me I've, I've had a lot of shit tier jobs you know what I mean <laughs> and oh it boils my piss you know what I mean oh fuck but yeah tell me the only reason why they're doing that you know what I mean the only reason why they're doing it is like, like you show up you want to get paid yeah, you gotta no, do it the is. job. Yeah. You gotta do a bit of teamwork. Yeah. You know, it makes no sense for you to just be like, I'm, 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 all, I'm in the corner. Fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. Kick still from underneath. <laughs> <laughs> no, get the fuck out. <laughs> also, do things in ways the DM doesn't like for reasons that they never clearly explain. Rather than talk to the player, just punish them in game until they quit. Or figure out exactly what you want. Well, that's just passive aggressiveness. Yeah. You know, but that's that's a problem I find with a lot of, um, I hate to use this term, but like, you know, more nerdy aspects and hobbies. Um, I find that with most people that have those interests tend to not be the best at confronting issues. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. And I feel like they don't really know how to communicate what it is that's going on. Yeah, no, and I get it. Do you, you, do you, do you guys it. get what I'm on about? I don't know. Because I do, I, I do think, um, like, I'm sh- I'm shit at social situations. Like, I'm, I'm a pure autist I, when it comes to I know to when to and when not to be passive aggressive. Yeah. But passive aggressive seems to be thrown about within the D&D community. Yeah. Quite a bit. It is. I, th- I think it's overused. It is you overused. Know? And you know what it also... In and out of character. Yeah, it is. That and also I find, you know... And, and as well, I think because, especially at the minute, so much, um, so many games are being played online, it's easier to be mean to someone on the internet without being face-to-face. Oh, yeah, definitely. Which I think is horrible. <laughs> yeah. Because you're all there to play. Yeah. And you're all there to have a good time. Yeah. Why be mean for the sake of just being mean it's the only way because I, I, you, I ha- you're, you have your power fantasy in game and also it is kind of it. it is hard to tell like if you're okay if you're over headset if you're over VC mm-hmm. or whatever it's a bit easier but it's even when it's only text, text it's, it's hard. very hard to work out people yeah. the way people are you know what, another thing that what? I hate what is whenever people are mean to new players oh yeah I, hate it I hate it so much P- I hate it I hate <laughs> yeah. it yeah. because they're just trying to... Le- it's like people being mean to learner drivers. Like, yeah. how the fuck do you expect them to learn? I know. They I have know. to do it themselves, and they have to learn through doing it. And the thing is, I find a lot of the time, newer players tend to be a lot more excited to show up to games. Yeah. And they seem to be a lot more, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Now, they do get carried away, and, you know, that, that's fine. We all need to learn. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't take it thick with any of them, you know what I, I mean? Don't be mean, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a bit of a tie there. Let's Don't get be back mean. to it. Let's get back to it, will we? Hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do, too. Do you like having big, bitty waifus on your table? Because we do, too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human biddies. We got lizard biddies. We got orc biddies, oni biddies, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on with the story. I think if the DM has a plot twist, their notes really need to have a what if the players figure it out early plan, or at least red herrings to keep them off the trail. The saddest story I have is back in 3.5. The beloved king was secretly evil all along and sending us on a Phil's errand to hopefully get us killed so we don't discover his evil, stupid plot. And we figured it out in the very first session. Our clerk contacted his deity and our DM, at a loss, said as this deity, you should humour the king and do what he asks. On the final session, he still tried to present it as a sudden shocking twist. <laughs> look, I, I, look that's, not, that's not that bad. You know, look, the guy was tired. He's like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? But or maybe, the, maybe adapt it, guy, maybe change it up a wee bit. Like, you know, the maybe, guy is right. DM yeah. should have a... 
that's why I'm not a good DM though. I'm not good at I'm not good at planning. I'm no, not I'm good not good at, at planning. I'm not good at you know. There's a lot of things I'm bad I can at. Just about plan my dinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never mind. I'm most of the time I can't. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, you know, like it happens, you know, and I and I do feel for DMs because there is so much planning and, and extra work. Yeah, you know, put into it. Oh, it's hard. It's hard being a DM. I, I, yeah. I don't envy him like at all. No, no. La ha ha funny XD joke NPC character is secretly a badass with immense power. Anime edgy badass. Oh. Look, I feel like I feel like we've we've had it. Like you know what? This we, we we've complained a lot about anime. Will we? We'll give you guys a pass yeah. for one video. How does that sound? Just don't Actually, you know what? No, stop that. We're already we're slagging off anime earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like maybe next video. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. We'll try. We'll try and ease back on it because I know what you boys are like. You know, like we're not big anime fans here. You know, <laughs> don't judge us too harshly. But I'm, I, I am going to judge you. <laughs> These two go hand in hand, and I fucking hate them both. I don't care if Lenny the Magic Squirrel Meth Head is the last living heir to the Forgotten Valley Kingdoms. I cannot take a ninja rodent wielding wee words. A, t- a truly blade of lights being seriously. His death will be meaningless, and when you give his dramatic self-sacrifice speech, I'll be plugging in my AirPods. Fuck you for ruining the atmosphere. Even if it's ironic, it's retarded. I don't know. Like this boy's got AirPods, so you know um, <laughs> he's, he's a little cringe here. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh I real. Oh, I wish that we had a fucking um, plug-in for like Raycon at the oh, minute. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys like Raycon. This guy has AirPods. He's a real loser. By the way, guys. <laughs> no, sadly, we don't have any. We don't have anything. But yeah. <laughs> I'm sure but if we did, we would have done that. <laughs> yeah. Player wants to roll to seduce the guards. DM frequently tries to split the party and handles the events of each sub-party in a different room, so each sub-party doesn't know what is happening to the other, but must wait patiently while the DM is handling the other room. Uh, you I know, look, I, I've never, I've, it, for me it's never happened for more than 10-15 minutes, so... Yeah, if it keeps it interesting... Yeah, I'm okay I'm with okay it. I'm okay with it. But then again, like, you know, I could imagine if, if this went on for like an hour and a half. Oh, like, no, no guys, I'm sorry. You should play like different sub parties on different days or something. Yeah, but maybe. like, <laughs> DM runs a D&D game focused on social encounters and intrigue, but doesn't stop new naive players from picking fighter and inevitably having minimal agency in 90% of interactions and puzzles. Honestly, session zero, you need to know what type of game you're getting into. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, here, what It needs to be explained before the game's run. Yeah. It's like, oh, by the way, this isn't really going to be yeah. X, Y, or Z, you know. Oh, by the way, we're going to be in this area of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Party goes to great lengths to safely steal a rare artifact used by enemies, and the DM declares that it broke or expired somehow. Anyway, right after. That's what? bullshit. No, I, no fucking pure that. Bullshit. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate that bullshit. That's something, that's, that's something stolen straight out of video games. Yeah. Arrows remaining must be tracked and also mysteriously break after every shot, so they can never slash rarely be retrieved after combat. Guys, do you want to hear a wee secret? I am absolutely fucking trash at uh, just looking after all my gear. You know what the fuck I've got? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but see when I come I'm to ours... I'm the exact same! Like, I'm not, I know, have... No like, idea. Like, okay, I, like, okay. I do keep track of health potions and some, like you know, alchemist fire and yeah. bombs and stuff. Like yeah. That. But the see, but I'm shit. but see when I come like to like arrows and bullets or like, whatever it is. See for my okay. So one of the games I'm playing in, I've got like a leg rifle thing going on, and uh, I just bought a thousand plus one ammunition. And like you know, you'll be like, like that'll get me that, through. That'll get me, through, that'll get me through the game. It's that'll fine. get me through the whole campaign because I use it. I use it on like maximum like what maybe. Four three, times. three times a session. Yeah. High end. Sometimes yeah. I never even use it at all. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, but a thousand bullets, I'm going to call that job done. I spent Infinity a lot of fucking ammo, money. end of. Jo- <laughs> I know you guys are going to judge me on it. It is something that I, <laughs> I'm just bad at. But I do keep track of, like, you know, spell slots and stuff like that. Sweet so I'm not, I'm not yeah. like, I'm not taking the piss with it, you know? PCs get collectively mind controlled that players are all forced to fall for a blatantly obvious trick they all saw coming a mile away. Weak character is not strong enough for meaningful melee combat, 
yet has zero trouble using a large bow quickly and repeatedly. Yeah, it is kind of a bullshit one, but that's more to do with people. Like, okay, I'm not going to get into the whole this. Like, actually, actually, actually pole arms and uh, halberts, and no, like, I like watch all the videos for that shit. I'm not, I'm not getting into this. <laughs> all right. I don't have too many, and no single one is a deal breaker, but in no particular order, in and out of universe. GM doesn't know the rules, but refuses to admit that he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people call us high Like, you know, like, at least no, at least... Like, know the basics. Like, just, just put it like, look, guys. I, or I, I, just I, fucking wing it. <laughs> yeah, just wing it, you know what I mean? Player loses interest in character and gives up, or tries to get himself killed. City nowhere. That's Jonathan. All right, I know you're watching Jonathan. <laughs> it's Jonathan. That's, that's fucking you, Jonathan. <laughs> I I'm, I'm just putting that out there right now. City nowhere near running water. Class-based system, but the classes aren't in universe jobs or titles. Leveling up instead of spending XP. Anyone fudging dice for any reason. I don't mind that one. It, dep- it depends on. I think fudging dice is up to the DM. It, that's not. It's not up to the players. It's up to the. the it's up to the DM. Up to the and DM. I don't like, like players fudging dice rolls. No, players shouldn't be doing it. But I don't mind a player being like, "Yo, can I get an advantage for this absolute bullshit reason?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're like, just it's like, do you mind? Can I get advantage because I like, technically I'm coming in from behind them, so <laughs> you know, and I know that they're coming, so eh, you know, like at least try and beg for something like you know. Like, do that <laughs> hit point bloat yeah well that's mm. that i think that's that comes down to a lot of like really shit combat i think people get bored yeah because like you know it's round and round and round and it's just like you know you're just thinking away at them and nothing's yeah, really nothing's happening. happening and you know that i think that's how board, uh, like, combat does get boring for yeah. a lot of people monsters will always scale to be able to hit you but damage won't scale equally with hp bullshit modern morality in fantasy universe but only when it suits your fantasy. A lot of people do this, but I don't think they understand what yeah. they're, that they're doing. It. Yeah. I think I think a lot of people that fall victim to this just have no actual understanding of. For it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They just don't get the context. Yeah. You know. Collecting NPCs like fucking Bioware companions. <laughs> like, like that, that, like, <laughs> look, like, leave me alone. Like I will, I will collect NPCs if I like them. Okay, <laughs> if they look nice, they, they come on with me. I, I feel like you know, you, get it. <laughs> you know, what I feel like sometimes I feel like Shrek's like, you, you're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, it's half the time. Communism is the solution. <laughs> we, 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 I, what? When's this? Sort of thing? I don't know. Wait, what is this? A, is, is this a, a thing in people's games? I've never came across that. GM provides setting or world building materials. Doesn't read them himself. What? How's that? How's that possible? I have if no he idea. Provides them. Okay. Modern weapons have generic names. Assault rifle instead of in-universe competing brands. Yamaha Raiden. Honestly, I like that. It's kind of it does give it a bit more of a flair. You yeah. know what I mean? Magic has no flaws or price, but isn't well integrated into society. The larger the nation, the more evil it is. I think that's true, though. <laughs> yeah, he could say that, you know. I I'm, not, like, I'm not like we're not going to get into any politics. No, here. no we politics. Will, we, we will not. We will. We'll just skip this one, all right? <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not. Talk, I'm not getting into this with you guys, all right? <laughs> get into it in the comments if you want. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. The smaller the resistance, the more powerful they are. Alien civilizations of equal technological advancement, without any explanation. GM confuses duration with difficulty. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, so maybe I have more than I originally thought. Uh, pretty good overall. Yeah. Like, you know, I think there's very few I think we've come across in this video that I would consider deal breakers. Like, you know, there's only one or two that I'd be like, oh, mate, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. You know, oh, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm busy next week, guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, I can't make it. <laughs> oh, what are you up to? Like, I, I don't know. I'm just busy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like. The fucking parrot died. Can't yeah. Make it. Like, is there anything for you guys that you have came across that, like, you know, you're like, you know what? No, I I can't do this. You yeah, know. You ha- uh, yeah. We've, I don't know if we've asked this. Have you ever had any, like, deal breakers where you're at the table? And you stood up and, like, and left? No. We did have one story like that a while back. Is that the guy with the gun? No. Oh, fuck yeah. I forgot about him. No, well, that, that was a good one. But uh, no, it was a guy. It was, uh, was they were playing 40K or something like that. And the guy had that arc, um, 
Acolon model or whatever you call him, the the big chaos guy from yeah. Warhammer Fantasy, and he was trying to glue it together at the game. And look, never mind, never mind. We're, we're getting sidetracked. Yeah, here. but let us know down below if you've had like any, any deal, breakers, deal breakers, you know, anything that's that you like. Any deal breakers that you have, or any times that you've like stood up from a game and walked away, yeah, like, or guys, just never went back to because yeah. of certain reasons. Yeah, like guys, this is just bullshit. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, I don't know. I th- I don't think there's any I've came across. I think most people have the same ones. Yeah, for the most part. But yeah, the, people continue to do them. <laughs> the only one, the only one that I really dislike, I think, is the whole player versus DM oh, mentality. I that, that, that that one, I I, I really don't like. I'm not interested no, in that at all. I don't get it. I think that's pretty bullshit. And yeah. I no, it's just I, I'm not going to fucking talk about that anymore. It actually annoys me just getting into it. But like as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one's a bit different. We haven't done something like this in a wee oh, while. Wow. Yeah. So I hope but you guys enjoyed. Check out the links. Check out the models on the website. Don't forget we have our own models out at the minute. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Of our avatars. Yeah, really I think good. They look they're pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Garbo's going to be actually. They're going quick. Yeah. So Garbo's making a video for us first to like you know. Oh, so you can um, actually see them? Yeah, she oh, got like good. a hands on. Well, check out the links, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell when you're up there so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!